Well, I wanted to take some time to compare the reference cooler for the GTX 560, and I realize I'm holding entirely the wrong prop right now, but the reference cooler for the GTX 560, so this is a flower style heat pipe cooler. So you can see if I, I guess if I spin that, you might be able to see a little bit better. You can see it looks kind of like a stock Intel LGA 1155 heatsink. And then there's three heat pipes that come out of the top. Can you, can you see in there? Okay. What if I turn it like this? Can you see the heat pipes? No? Okay, how about now? Can you see the heat pipes through the top? Really? You can see the heat pipes. Okay, one, two, three heat pipes like that. So those are spreading out into a... Uh, like fin arrangement on either side. So it's actually kind of like the MSI Cyclone cooler in design, but it's covered with a shroud. Now, some of the exhaust is going to come out here, some of it's going to come out here, some of it's going to come out here, and some of it's going to come out here. So uh, while it does have a rear exhaust vent, for all intents and purposes, we can consider this a sort of 70 to 80 percent internal exhaust card. Now, I wanted to compare that to the MSI GTX 560 Twin Frozer 2. Now, this is not that card. This is a GTX 460 Hawk. The Twin Frozer 2 card is actually on the test bench right now, preparing for my idle temperature measurement. But I'm going to compare both temperatures and noise levels of the Twin Frozer 2 heatsink, which looks like this. Now, this is an almost entirely internal exhaust heatsink as well. You can see we're going to get some incidental airflow from this fan coming out here, but other than that, there's a lot of exhaust coming right through the card here in the gaps, right through here. There's gonna be some going out this way. Uh, the heat pipes, including uh, two super pipes, that is thicker than standard heat pipes, and two normal ones, so there are four total heat pipes uh, are part of the overall design. It does use a dense fin arrangement with dual fans in order to achieve what MSI claims is up to 20 degrees better cooling under load than a stock cooler. Now, it's become a little bit challenging with recent GPUs to measure maximum load. So instead of using Furmark, which was my traditional favorite, um, because of the way they've locked them down to actually underperform in Furmark so that you don't blow out your GPU by benchmarking Furmark all day, which I can kind of understand, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to loop the Heaven benchmark and then just find the highest temperature recorded during the entire thing. This will be lower than normal, so probably the delta will be lower than we'd normally see, but I guess it'll give us a more realistic look at what kind of noise and what kind of temperatures we're going to get with these cards in a gaming scenario. So right now I'll show you guys my testing methodology. I've got the GTX 560 on an open bench. Bear in mind, open bench is going to be up to 5 to even 10 degrees cooler than what you're going to see in a closed case. Either that or the fan will ramp up more, so it will also be in some ways quieter. Now I've got my ambient temperature here, which is about 23 degrees, and I have a temperature probe right here in front of the fan intake. So based on a 23 degree intake temperature and a 27 degree idle temperature on my card, I will call that a delta of 4 degrees for my GTX 560. So I'm going to do some load temps, then I'm going to do some testing on the reference design, and then I'll come back and do a conclusion for you guys. That to stress the card as much as possible, I am running the tessellation on extreme, as well as 8xAA, and no, it's not counterfeit, I just change my hardware all the time, AA, uh, 8x8A and 16xAF, otherwise looks like this. Now in terms of temperatures, uh, hold on, I'm going to turn my sensor back on. So the room temps have gone up a little bit because I did have the doors closed. So we're at 26 degrees in the room now and the maximum, and I'm going to take the absolute peak maximum we saw during the Heaven benchmark, was 54 degrees. So that was the highest that was seen. Okay, so then that means uh, 54 minus 26 is, I'm not very good at mental math, so I'll be recording that on a graph and then I'll show you guys the reference cooler in a moment. Okay, so just getting an idle temperature reading from my reference card, so we're gonna call that 23 degrees ambient, and uh, we'll call that an in a complete inability of my camera to focus on anything. Well, I'll tell you what it says then. It says 28, so there is the reference card on the bench, and there is another attempt to focus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you can kind of see that. 28. So that's a delta of only about 5 degrees, so back with the load results. 
So we can see here on the graph what our max temperatures were while running the Heaven benchmark. We peaked at around 70 degrees, so that is a delta of, uh, actually, well here, I'll do the math. Um, okay, because our room temperature is now 23. Actually, it was 24 a moment ago, but I opened the door, so we're gonna go with 24. Uh, either way, here is the data. I'm not gonna bother graphing this for you guys, I'm sorry. So with the Hawk, we had a four degree delta from the room temperature uh, up to the temperature of the GPU at idle. So a five degree delta on the reference card. But then when we look at the load temperatures, it is almost as advertised on the MSI box, almost a 20 degree difference between the four, 560 Twin Frozer 2 and the 560 reference card. So you can see that MSI does advertise 20 degrees Celsius cooler now. Uh, if we were running a more extreme scenario, we probably might see 20 degrees as a worst case scenario. Something else to bear in mind is this is an OC edition card. So naturally, the Twin Frozer 2 card will run a little bit hotter. So if we clocked it down to the same speeds as the reference card, we might actually see even better temperatures. So thank you for checking out my video of the GeForce GTX 560 Ti thermals and acoustics, as well as the comparison between the reference card and the Twin Frozer 2 edition card from MSI. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. So this is my noise reading for the GTX 560 Ti Twin Frozer 2. I'm going to go about six inches from the fan and let you guys take a little listen, and then I'm going to cut in the reference cooler. And here's my load test on the Twin Frozer 2, so I'm just going to move my normal distance from the card. And I'll cut in with the reference cooler 